हेलो एवरीवन टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इज यूनाइटेड नेशन स्टिल रेलिवेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द थीम द बैकग्राउंड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन फेवर ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स अगेंस्ट इट एंड व्हाट नीड्स टू बी डन एंड फाइनली द कंक्लूजन द यूनाइटेड नेशन इज नॉट एबल टू एंड द रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर एंड इजराइल हमास वॉर सो there are debates worldwide about the inability of the un to establish peace in these regions and also about the relevance of the united nations in the present times now let us discuss the background before the establishment of the united nations the league of nations was established in 1920 to promote international cooperation and to achieve international peace and security but it ceased operation in 1946 League of Nations failed because it couldn't stop the Second World War. United Nations was established on 24th of October 1945 to promote peace and prevent war through diplomacy. United Nations have several bodies such as the World Health Organization, United Nations Children's Fund, etc. The two principal bodies of the United Nations are the United Nations General Assembly and the United Nations Security Council. United Nations General Assembly allows the members to discuss, debate and make recommendations on global issues whereas the United Nations Security Council is responsible for maintaining international peace and security. United Nations Security Council is the most powerful organ of the United Nations. Now let us have some arguments in favor of the statement stating yes the United Nations is still relevant. First point is United Nation is still relevant because it is actively working to maintain peace within the international community since it was established it promoted international economic development and built good relation among countries Secondly it is actively working on the development in several countries and tackling global challenges by forming subsidiary organizations such as UNICEF and UNESCO Thirdly it is spreading the spirit of democracy in member countries it is also working in protecting human rights in the member countries fourthly it is very much needed now because many countries are turning to nationalism and preferring it over international cooperation fifth point is the fact that the united nation has promoted technological and economic cooperation since 1945 and is still promoting proves the point that the united nation is still relevant sixth point is even though the united nation has failed to prevent the covid-19 pandemic it can work effectively to prevent future pandemics and it would be too idealistic to expect any institution to succeed all the time with information sharing and international cooperation the member countries can save the world from future pandemics with the help of the united nations Seventh point is global challenges such as terrorism, food crisis, and water scarcity need global solution. For that, we do not have any alternative to the United Nations as of now. Now let us see the arguments against the statement saying no, United Nations is not relevant in the twenty first century. Firstly, the powerful organ of the United Nations, which is the United Nations Security Council, is not relevant to the present times. It has only 5 permanent members the US, UK, Russia, China and France plus 10 non-permanent members. This is resulting in the misuse of power by the 5 permanent members using their veto power. They often block key decisions which are very much needed by other nations. Also there is no representation of developing countries, African countries and southern hemisphere countries in the United Nations Security Council permanent members. This doesn't suit the present time which emphasizes the need for reforms. Also, currently the national interests of the five permanent members are in conflict. As a result, the UNSC is not able to undertake any meaningful action. Third point is that WHO has miserably failed in preventing the COVID-19 pandemic. Fourth point is that the world has changed so much since 1945. but the united nation hasn't changed at the same pace after 2008 the world is transitioning towards multipolarity which means there are many important global powers however the united nation is currently not representing the same
Fifth point is that the funding for the UN is influencing its operation. This is constituting to misuse of power. The United States is its largest donor to the United Nations. Speaking about sixth point, still billion of people are living in poverty, which makes us wonder whether we need a new international organization to work effectively on global challenges. Seventh point is that current nations have expressed grievances against the United Nations, asserting that it encroaches on their sovereignty. Such actions are not appropriate in the 21st century. Next point is the fact that regional organization and other small international organizations are growing is proving that UN is losing its relevance. Lastly, the Russia-Ukraine war which was started in 2022 has been going on for more than 600 days. Many lives have been lost in this war, but the United Nations is not able to stop this war. Also, the Israel-Hamas war which was started in 2023 caused loss of lives and a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The UN is not able to bring peace in this region either. Now what needs to be done? Firstly, as many countries are suggesting, veto power should be eliminated and the UNSC should be expanded to have a better representation of member countries. There is a dire need for reforms in the UNSC. It should have a power balance. Secondly, new UN bodies should be created to tackle other global challenges like pandemic to make it more relevant. Thirdly, there is a need to increase transparency and improve information sharing, the lack of which led to the COVID-19 pandemic. And last but not the least, funding should be brought from diverse resources to avoid the misuse of power and dominance. Overall, the United Nations is still relevant to the present times but is in need of reforms. UNSC should be reformed to suit the 21st century. Better transparency information sharing can make the UN a much more effective organization. Moreover, member countries should work proactively to stop wars and promote the establishment of peace. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Comment below what's your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this.